This week in AI, we got hints of ChatGPT 5 and an actual week of GPT 4.5 ready to go. We have the release of Sora, maybe, probably not. And then we have the robot that seriously freaks me out. Plus, a friend named Devin might spell the end of programming. Oh, and I was also able to turn my studio from this to this. So let's get into the AI news, shall we? Check this out, dude. Here's Lex Friedman grilling Sam Altman about GPT 5. Yeah, baby. When is GPT-5 coming out again? I don't know. That's the honest answer. That's the honest answer. Is it blink twice if it's this year? Whoa, dude. Is Sam giving us the old mysterious vibe or what? Blink once for yes, blink twice for I'm not telling you. Classic. We will release an amazing new model this year. I don't know what we'll call it. So that goes to the question of like, what's the way we release this thing? We'll release over... In the coming months, many different things. Uh, I think they'll be very cool. Uh, I think before we talk about like a GPT-5 like model called that or called or not called that or a little bit worse or a little bit better than what, what you'd expect from a GPT-5, I think we have a lot of other important things to release. In a remarkable and unexpected twist, the digital veil was prematurely lifted on OpenAI's GPT-4.5 Turbo, hinting a release is closer than anticipated, showcasing GPT-4.5 Turbo as OpenAI's fastest, most accurate, and scalable model to date. So I have a gut feeling to expect GPT 4.5 very soon. Okay, that's cool, Genie, but everyone's been jaw-dropping over these wild AI vids, right? But it's like throwing a party and not letting us in. Dude, when do we get to dive in and play? I want to create some cool videos like these. Let's listen to what the actual developers have to say about Sora. And we don't even have any current timelines for when we would turn this into a product. But really right now we're in the like feedback getting stage. For AI to understand the world enough to generate videos, a Sora-like model likely needs an internal library of millions, maybe even billions of visual concepts. This includes objects like a dog, a car, actions like jumping, dancing, textures like fluffy and maybe metallic. Building these representations would be a massive undertaking. You know, we'll definitely be improving it, but how we should improve it is kind of a an open question and we wanted to show the world this technology that's on the horizon and start hearing from people about how could this be useful to you, hear from safety experts, how could we make this safe for the world, start hearing from some artists, how could this be useful in your workflows. In the very near future, I'm not going to need to do dishes anymore. And to be honest, yeah, this next demonstration freaks me out. May I present to you a robot hooked right into chat GPT. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Um, yeah, dude, I'm so into this right now. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it, so I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great, so based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? Um, I wanna ask this robot for a grilled cheese sandwich. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, I got it. Or do my homework. The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. Meet Scott. Scott is developing an AI that is making programmers shake in their boots. Before I show you this new tool, check out how smart Scott, AKA this little kid is at a math competition. It's kind of comical how much he dominates. And the question is, if the pattern shown continues, what is the letter in the 2010th position? Scott. A. A is the correct answer. And the next question is, what is the value of 255? Scott. 5,000. 5,000 is the correct answer. Moving on to the third question of our matchup. The digits one, two, three, four, and five can be arranged to, Scott. 60. 60 is the correct answer. The beauty of this kid is he's so smart, he's solving puzzles not with muscle, but with lightning quick thinking. Mathematicians train their brains like superheroes, practicing a lot, so when they see a tricky math puzzle, they can solve it super fast, almost like magic. So here's Scott, all grown up, the CEO of Cognition AI, who has produced Devon. And Devon is a user interface that allows people to program without ever knowing how to code. 
The new language of programming is human, natural conversation. Everyone's going to be able to code. Hey, Devin, make me a website for my new coffee brown, Espresso Yourself. Yeah, boy. Really, Buzz? In all seriousness, Devin is having its chat GPT moment right now. This is huge for AI. All these links are down below. In other news, AI videos got a step up this week with sound. You can now generate sound alongside your AI videos. Let me present to you Pika Labs. Our friends at Eleven Labs are also introducing sound effects. Make sure to get on the wait list. Again, yeah, I'm a broken record player, but all these links are down below. You can thank us later, or how about now by subscribing to the AI Surfer Adventures. I just wanted to highlight how cool this website is. This is the best free stock photos and royalty-free images all powered by AI. Just give it a search and find anything you want for any type of content, all for free. Again, all links are down below. And by the way, this is the AI Surfer Circle, our very own AI school, and a community for like-minded people learning to ride the AI wave together. Hundreds of people right now, just like you, learning to leverage AI to better their business and life. Every Monday we have a live call, and we have some amazing exclusive collaboration with huge companies like ClickUp. To start riding this AI wave with us, just go to this link after the show, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay, let's get back into it. Here's something I bet you didn't know on Gemini. You can actually start iterating inside your prompt right now. This is huge. Imagine you're writing a script. You don't like one section. Now you can highlight it. You can click this modify selected text and you can regenerate it. You can make it shorter or even modify it with a prompt. Yo, Genie, coming in with the tips and tricks. Let's go. Apple is looking to team up with Google for a mega deal to leverage the Gemini AI model for features on the iPhone. This will put Google in a commanding position as the company already has a deal with Apple as the preferred search engine provider for iPhones. So is this how Apple's going to enter into the AI games? I mean, Apple is so far behind. Where are you, Apple? Here's how I turn my room from this to this, simply using this new update from Magnific AI. This new feature allows you to compose different scenes on top of their upscaler. All you need to do is find inspiration. I went to midjourney.com. I found this really cool image. I saved the image and copied the prompt. I uploaded my original image and then I uploaded the inspiration. I typed in the prompt and voila. You have amazing generations that are infinitely creative to turn scenes into something totally different. You can see the advantage of this in filmmaking and grabbing attention online. There's never been a better time to grab attention online and direct them to your business than right now with all these awesome tools. Leonardo AI has released a new feature that allows you to generate transparent images. Whoa, this is super useful, dude. Now we can create cool stickers and images without backgrounds to easily add to our social media, posters, or whatever. Thanks for the update, Leonardo. We're going to be publishing the AI news every single week. Make sure to subscribe right now, hit the bell notification, and don't miss next week's adventure with the AI surfer. To be honest, this is one huge experiment. Grow an online presence to see if we can build a business with AI. Let's all learn together and step into a new future. Over and out. Peace.